Hi guys, in today's lesson, we'll be looking at how to write a specification and how to present your work. A specification is a list of criteria that the product must meet. How could anybody design a great product unless they know what the product has to do? This information can be used when designing ideas to ensure that all the client's needs are considered. The first step is to create a mind map to help us think about the important features that we need to consider. In this example, the design brief is to make a keyring. It must. These are the things that your product needs to have to be what it is, otherwise it would be something else like a horse. It could. These are things that in your wildest dreams your product could have. Crazy things, let your mind be free. It should. These are things that a good product would have. They would make people really want to buy it. Let's have a look at an example of each one. So it must have a hole for the split ring, otherwise the keys will not be able to attach onto the key ring. It could have LED lights. It should have a decorative pattern to attract the buyer so they would really want to buy this product. Task one is to complete a mind map of the things that your product must, could and should have. Once you've completed your mind map, you pick the things that you think are the most important to think about when designing your product. For each of the points that you think are important, write them down using full sentences. Try to explain why each of the points are important. We can use P. Point. Evidence. Explain. Point. What is the specification point? My keyring must not have any sharp edges or points. Evidence. Why is the specification point important? What is the evidence? If my keyring had sharp edges, then it might cut you or stick in your pocket. And explain how you could possibly meet the specification point. I will design it so it has no sharp point and I could file or send off any sharp points that are left. To ensure that we have covered as many points as possible, we can use these acronyms, Access FM or Cafe Q. Both of these provide many of the points that designers must consider. If we look at the keyring example again, my keyring must not have any sharp edges or points. If we are using the points in Access FM, this statement would go in the safety section. If we are using Cafe Q, this would go under the quality section. How to present your work. You can present your work in a table format. You have a specification number, point, evidence and explain. Another table format is that you could have the acronym Access FM or Cafe Q on the left hand side, specification point, and you could have just one column for justification. You can present your work in paragraphs, or you could present your work as a pictorial illustration. You could add colour behind your text box and have separate boxes. For GCSE students, and for those students who want to stretch and challenge themselves, have a look at this slide. Some of the explanation comes from Cafe Q, and some are extra additional points that have been added. If we focus on one aspect, the material aspect. Materials. What are the predominant materials you intend to use? Wood, metal, plastic? You don't need to be super specific about which material you need. This will be determined after further research when a design is completed. For example, don't specify oak as a wood. After designing, a more suitable hardwood may be required. Simply identify the material need as hardwood. For example, it must be made from hardwood. After further research, you can specify what type of hardwood you would like to use. Some examples of specifications. You can see how students have presented their work. How to set up a table and create shapes. Click on insert table and you can choose a number of rows and columns that you would like. If you want to add extra rows, one method is you click on the last cell, click tab or right click insert row below or above if you want to insert a column right click insert column to the left or right you can change the format of the table you can have your own shading if you wanted to 
I just click on the normal table, click on more shading, different colors. If I want to create a shape, click on insert shape, choose whichever shape you like, right click, edit text, it must have just a key point, it's easier to start off your specification point with it must. You can add an outline, you can change the thickness, if you right click, format shape fill you can choose a pattern a gradient fill or a picture texture entirely up to you however the key thing is to complete the specification and if you have time then you can think about your layout and presentation Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the presentation on how to write a specification.